Boys, how are we doing? Um, as everyone can see, I'm joined by Forumwood legends, Kira Murta, Dave Stevens, and Danny Woodard, the core, the core of the club. We've um, we've obviously been together for a few years now, boys. So what we wanted to do today was speak a little bit about um, our first season together, which was the, the obviously the Wembley playoff year, um, going on to the other the other seasons that we've had together. So I think this is the our fourth season together. First one, as I said, started off in a blaze of glory. Obviously, getting to um, getting to Wembley, beating Sutton in the in the semis. Well, firstly beating Fylde, should I say, in the quarters, then Sutton, and then obviously getting to Wembley. So the the almost year, as we've as we've called it. So almost getting there, but not quite. Um, and then we'll touch on obviously the other seasons that we've had together so far. But starting with boy, but that first year. Obviously, it was an amazing year for the for for the club for for us getting there as an achievement. But I think, what do you boys see it as now? Do you see it as still look back on it as like a massive opportunity missed, or you know, are you able to sort of say, ah, oh, you know, no, we got Borenwood to Wembley, and 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 obviously that was an achievement as well. What do you reckon? I'm nearly at the top of the tree. Now. No, I think that is opportunity missed definitely with that squad that we had. The players yeah. that we had in there, we should have done. We should have gone away. I know we had injuries at the end, and it wasn't quite the the right squad. But we definitely should have. I thought won that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got to say, I'm kind of with Kiz on that as well. You reckon, yeah. Woody? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think on on the day you look at it and they get Manson off, and I think we all think, oh, like this is we talk about the final. This is this is, this is yeah. made. Yeah, the final. This is made for us. And it just, it just sort of went wrong from the minute the red card happened. Yeah, but don't you think that hindered us getting the yeah, def set? yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like if we would have kept the eleven on, we would have beat them. Yeah, because they they played obviously they had to, but they played a yeah. different way, and it, it was really difficult for us. I thought. Mm. Let's take it back a bit then, because obviously that was the final. But in the year, do you remember? Because obviously for the outside. Like everyone outside that league, I remember because that's obviously the first season I joined, and Kiers, you as well. Obviously, Woody yeah. and Dens have been been there a couple of years before. So yeah. for you boys, so Dens and Woody, did you did you sense like early on that it would be a team that would do well? Because obviously I joined, and you're not sure straight away, but I thought, yeah, we've got yeah. a decent team here. And then, and then obviously when the season started, I thought, yeah, we've got a right chance. But so obviously everyone outside probably didn't think we were serious contenders. But obviously we from early on all thought, yeah, this is going to be we're going to be doing well or up there what, what did you Denton Woody what did you boys think like obviously early uh, on in personally I think in pre-season we had um, I think Dean Wells came in I think he got injured I think he got injured in the first session yeah I remember uh, he's doing, <laughs> so like that. He did, he did the sprint testing with Kate wasn't he yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> serves him right the sprint. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah I think we assembled a good squad in pre-season I think was that did Angelo come in that season as well yeah, Andrew was there. Yeah, I think he was there. Andrew yeah. was there before that, wasn't he? Yeah, he's there before. Yeah, because he was there straight from when I joined. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it just it seemed like we'd assembled a really good squad in pre-season. I think we went away to Barnstable, um, and yeah, like I think we were just a good team right from the start. Do you have any games that you remember? Like, because obviously when the season first start, you're trying to weigh up where you're going to be. But do you have any games when you remember, like thinking, yeah, we. are we're definitely going to be up there or anything like that. I've got one. I don't. I've, I remember playing, we played on an Astro pitch and Bruno played left wing back and I was thinking, what is going on? <laughs> Do you is that pre-season? Yeah, pre-season. Uh, oh, pre-season. Is it Harringay? Uh, it might have been Harringay. We played, Bruno played left wing back and I was thinking, because obviously I played with Bruno at Woking. Yeah. I was thinking, what's go why is he playing left wing back? Like, what? what's going on? And from then, then I think after that we went to uh, basketball, and then I was like, okay, this is a proper team then. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I, I my one was um, during the season. It was quite early on, but Tranmere away. Remember Would it? You yeah. Two all. Two two. Two two. Was it two two? Yeah. Or two, two. two two. Yeah. yeah. We're two nil up. How we didn't win that game, and like looking back, obviously now, but. I remember at the time thinking, obviously, because Tranmere were one of the favourites. They, they weren't doing great at the time, but they were one of the favourites play, playing away. It's like one of our biggest like tests quite early on. And we like 
we were flying and like how we didn't finish that game off and win. Obviously they came back like late, scored two late goals and we were all gutted with a draw, obviously away at Tranmere. But I remember thinking like, yeah, we're decent. And it obviously everyone else would have seen us as underdogs, even like later on in the season. But I think everyone in our squad knew like, I didn't feel like an underdog player. And I felt like we'd go to those teams and Tranmere and we were all fuming coming away because we'd like, we'd given away that lead. But I remember then after that game thinking, yeah, but, if we're yeah, we're we're going to be decent. Yeah, I think uh, what was it? All the shot we played all the shot at home. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were flying, and we literally yeah. just ran all over them. Nice and good. Like, and then what's his that the right back's got a like unbelievable left foot to the top bin. Oh yeah, yeah they told Shakey to show him inside as well. Didn't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was it Fenner? Was it Fenner? <laughs> Or someone like that. No, it wasn't. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, Alexander, Che Alexander. That's yeah, it. Che yeah, Alexander, yeah. that's it. He's yeah, show me his left. Show me yeah. his left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I Bosh. think that game, that game was the one game where I thought, wow, yeah, this is a proper team. Like, we Great literally enough. went man for man, man for man. the best playing team in the league. And they, could, they couldn't do anything against us. Mm. That's a great shout, kids. I remember that now. Well, clearly. Because remember, the game plan was that, wasn't it? With Gaffer yeah. and stuff, and we just... They put three up and we were like, okay, we'll, we'll do that because they know they're not going to ping it long. And we just forced them along every time. And it was like, literally, they kicked it. We won the header and then went on a counter-attack. It was yeah. like every single time, wasn't it? It was unreal. Yeah. That's a good shout. Um, what then, was the other one? Tram at home. Remember, on the icy pitch? Yeah. The snow, yeah. 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 Or Orient at home. Yeah. 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 That was another one. A few good games oh, where we thought, that, yeah, we can do it. So then obviously taking it on. So I felt like, I think we all felt, yeah, we're going to be hopefully up there. And then obviously making the playoffs, the final game, the first one, obviously at home, the quarterfinals. What do you boys remember about the game? Because obviously there was so much, obviously amazing that, that we got through it and we won. But obviously in hindsight now, looking back, we lost a lot of momentum from that game with the injuries and stuff, didn't we? So what do you boys remember about that game? Because I'm sorry, uh, forget I, I, I remember... Sorry to butt in. I remember Morgan, I think in a warm up, yeah. I think it was that game, like we were doing shooting, and I think he pulled his hammy or something like that. Uh, I can't remember who went in for him. Um, oh. Would it have been for Levy? Yeah. 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 Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's, that. that's what I remember, sort of. That, that's the first bit I remember from that game. And then obviously, Turley broke his jaw late on as well. Yeah. And Kane. And, Kane. Kane yeah. and then like Kane after that. Knee. And Kane, yeah. Kane done his knee. Yeah. It's one yeah. of those where you get there and you're like absolutely buzzing and then like the dust settles a bit and you go, oh my God, we've like, yeah, we've lost three yeah. straight away. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that was crazy. We the squad either, did we? So then going into the Sutton game, obviously we got that and that was an amazing feeling. I remember after the game thinking, right, we've like, you feel momentum and then Obviously, picking up the pieces, knowing we're going to be without three three big hitters, and then um, then the Sutton game. What do you boys remember? about I remember the first thing was baking hot on that day. Do you remember yeah. like that? waking yeah. up? Oh, I was buzzing about Sutton because that's close to me. So like all of my family were there, like nice. everyone was there, and I was thinking we have to win. Like me personally, I was like, there's no way. I'm losing in front of all these people that like, there's no way. <laughs> and it was baking. And I remember we started and we was just, they weren't on it. We were flying. Yeah. And I was thinking, because before you think you've lost all these players, how are we going to start? Like what's going to happen? Yeah. And to be fair, all the boys that came in did unbelievable in that game. Like yeah. the, none of them needed a, like a game to get into it. Like, I remember Scott Dode hardly played. Oh, yeah. And he'd come in and he was, yeah. he was a joke. Like, he scored, the, scored a goal as well. Like, it was mad. It was just, it was meant to be. That day was just meant to be. Like, everything was stacked against us, really. Yeah. And we just came through it. Like, even the last goal, we were, like, yeah, how, you many times have, you did, how many have times is that. that ever going to happen that someone hits the crossbar with one attacker in the box? And it comes down yeah. to him, and he just like taps it in. Like, it's... Yeah, Daddy, is so, it the Jamie? Those are the times when you realise like it's going to be like the the, the the luck's with you a little bit, doesn't it? When that yeah. when that sort of thing happens, you just feel like yeah, this is this is going to be the one. But then obviously, 
last 20 minutes, it was like a little bit. They threw the they scored in before, didn't they? Hadn't they? I'm sure they'd scored. It was 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. And then, yeah. and then Felipe, it hit the crossbar and Felipe, once it went 3-1, yeah. I was like, that's it. Like, yeah, they, no scored way they, scored they, they scored to make it 3-2, didn't they? 3-2, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. And then there was a... They just threw everything cut us, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wasn't that bothered about that. When they started throwing everything out, so I was thinking, yeah, they're desperate. Like, you know when the team are really desperate? Yeah. And they weren't like, yeah. not, like, I think I've watched it, like, the last ten, five, ten minutes. No, they weren't really, like, they were throwing everything, but it wasn't, like, controlled. It was literally just, like, throw everything Anakin. throw the kitchen yeah. sink like everything yes. I remember them just putting obviously they just put however many players up like up top and they were just yeah. there was a few where it was like celebrating every header wasn't it last 10 minutes yeah. every time <laughs> my head it was like yeah and then it was back to the wall I remember the, but the final whistle boys talk, talk us through that because did you boys obviously Kiers you mentioned you had a few there Woody Ben did you have yeah. a few there watching um, no, no I don't think I don't think I did to be honest I don't know all I remember is Den's land on the floor and everyone jumping on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I had nothing. I had nothing left at that point. I'd yeah. given it. I'd yeah. given it everything, and I just collapsed. I think it's on that. You know, it's when it's such a hot day and you go to shout and nothing comes out. Yeah, <laughs> nothing was coming. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> no. it's just <laughs> air. I just remember, like every, I think everyone ran over to the fans, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Everyone ran towards the fans behind the goal. And I turned around and my little boy was running across the pitch. Oh, that was like the best. I've got a picture of me and him on the pitch still up in my ass. It was one, that that's, was one of the best. That's a good moment. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Like, unbelievable. I knew. I knew. I knew. That. And then knowing, first of all, you're going to go and play at Wembley and then a proper chance of getting promotion. So it was like, I remember that night well. I, went, I think I went back to... My dad's had a load of family around and obviously just all sort of sunk in late that night. I had like the worst, you know, when you play in the sun and you got like, I, <laughs> I remember like as the night got on, I got more and more red. I was like, <laughs> I was like burnt up in my face and just had the whitest body ever. And then, uh, yeah, and I remember the next day, obviously it all sinking in, knowing we, we got Tramer in the final. And then, um, and then obviously, what do you boys think about the, the build up to playing at Wembley and then? And then the actual games. I know we touched on it at the start, but it was a massive opportunity, wasn't it? Like it literally, like it's the one game. It's the one game now in my in every game I played that I look back, like it's still so painful. Like and I just think, how? Like ah, oh, like just to have it again. It's the one game that I still massive regret. Like of course you go, oh yeah, we we got Bournemouth to Wembley, but we were, like we said, we all before the game, no one. I don't think we felt like underdogs. We thought we could yeah. beat them. No, but we beat them. That the thing was is that we drew with them at their place and beat them at home. So we were confident. Mm. We were like, we've beat these once and we've drawn once, and we should have won the first game when we drew two all. Yeah. So I was going into it thinking that like, we've got these, we've got their, we've got their number. Like we know how they play, we know all their personnel. Like we've got this, and then first five minutes just messed it all up. But that's the thing. Obviously, looking back, you say that, but at the time, you're, you're buzzing, aren't you? Like, let's be honest. You think, oh, yeah. like you think that's your day. Like five minutes in, that happens. I remember thinking, this is this is it. This is our day. Like this mm. is going to be. But yeah, then maybe when you look back, obviously because we had been that team that, that Daddy, I know you know, a lot of skills now. attacking okay, so players that just you know we win the ball back. If a team come at us, that's why we always play well against the bigger sides because they'd come at us and we'd we'd hurt them. And then that just made their minds up, didn't it? Five minutes in, they were like, right, okay, just have the ball back there. Didn't they score right. just after that as well? Yeah. They scored yeah, it about goal. 10 minutes, didn't they? And that was it. Once they'd scored, mm. they were just literally sat back. Yeah, they just can't, didn't it? Just, yeah. Just don't care. Oh, but like, any, anyone would, I would. Yeah. Do, 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 you think they, do you think they had an advantage because they were there the year before? Yeah. Do you think that had anything to do with it? Yeah. Not it, but do you think that played into their hands? I just think that, like, and if we, if it would have been the opposite way round and we would have gone down to 10 men, I think the experience that they had of being there and losing before gave them something like yeah. that little bit extra. Yeah. Whereas mm. if we had gone down to 10 men, 
it would have probably been panic stations. People wouldn't have known what to do, like, especially with this team that we had, the makeshift sort of team that we had. I think it would have been worse. Like it would have been what we thought it should have been for us, for them. Mm, like threes and fours. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That for been... them, I think that they've, they had the experience of losing that. Most of their players were in that team the season before. So they were all like, we're not, like, we went back to Wembley now. There's no way we'd lose the game. Mm. Like, Absolutely. just because of the mentality that you have, you've lost there already. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to do that once. Yeah, like, you don't want that twice. Really like. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, it's first time for a few boys, like, playing away. You, you obviously, that it's impossible to say that, like, it feels different, let's be honest. You're playing at Wembley. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a league game. It feels different. So you're already, like, maybe they've got, like, they've been there and done it. So they've, they've already got that in their heads. But, um, but Woody, I can't believe you ain't mentioned your assist yet, mate. Oh, I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> the lefty, the lefty cutback. This is the only time I've hit a ball with my lefty. So. Oh, mate, yeah. what a ball it was as well. Lefty cutback, bang. That's a great goal. To be fair, that's the one yeah. that we think... Like, yeah, we went down and they had something to hang on to. But as soon as we equalised and it was like the momentum shift and the yeah. buzz gave us, that's the one I always go back to and think, how from there have we not gone on to just... I just because I, I felt... was just before half-time as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I think half-time came at the wrong time then. They got to go go in at half-time one or and regroup. Regroup. And, like, sort themselves out. If it would have gone on for another 10 minutes, that half... Mm. It might have been different. Yeah. There's so many ifs and buts in there. But then, yeah. but then, yeah, they go on to get the win anyway. And then, obviously, disappointment, man. It's, like, horrible. People say, like, playing at Wembley and stuff. But it, when you lose, it's, like, nah. it's horrible, isn't it? There's uh, a lot of people uh, yeah. goes home that night going, oh, I'm buzzing. Like, you just feel yeah. horrible for weeks, don't right. you? And then, obviously, like, then it All my mates were asking me, like, what was it? What was it like? What was it like? I was like, I've, at the time, I was like, I'd rather have not played at Wembley then play at Wembley and lose. Like, it is the worst feeling mm. ever. Yeah. you got to go and see your family and do all that stuff and you just... Think I think that's the, worst, that's the worst bit. I think you just want to... You want to crawl in a hole and die. That, I've never <laughs> felt... Yeah. I've never <laughs> felt anything. I've never <laughs> felt anything like that. And we had to that, go up the yeah. steps and I think... Yeah, you have to watch them go up and get their, get yeah, their medals. Yeah, we had to watch like, them. And then after, I think you had to go in and like everyone's family and friends was in that little bar area. Oh. And that was horrible as well. Yeah. yeah. And the bus journey back to Bourne Wood, that was horrible. Yeah, it was just... Yeah, you know, it was going the best day bar. and the worst day at the worst time, at the same time. What did you say, Woody? Yeah, going up to that bar, like, for me, like... My little girl, she was obviously there and like going up to her, she's in tears oh, and that it oh, sort of makes it worse. And yeah. you know, oh man, uh, so like giving a hug sort of cushions it a bit, but yeah, the feeling of losing and like seeing your little girl cry because you lost. Oh mate, yeah, that was a major punch for me. They're the things people don't see as well, don't they? These yeah. after the game, they're the things that stick with you. Like that took all for me. That took all summer. Like that was in my head also because then obviously yeah. everyone goes away, and all the players and you don't see. So like you've got so close to achieving something. You've been pretty consistent all year, winning games like unbelievable. So you want to, but you just you can't help but feel like you've you've failed at the end yeah. of it all. And then mm. go away, and then no one sees it. You just break up for summer and then you come back the next year. So it's like, it's hard, isn't it? And then you just, you just have to forget about it and move on. Yeah. But then obviously going on to then, so then the next year, we, um, obviously it's a massive hangover year, isn't it, for us? Like, I think I remember conversations with the gaffer in the summer and where everyone was just like dying to go one step further and, yeah. and try and get promoted the following year. And obviously we couldn't have seen how it panned out in the end. Obviously we lost a couple of, couple of good players and stuff, but, what do you boys think about? We won't spend long on it because obviously it weren't a great year. <laughs> weren't a great year. I think I think, think that leaving after Wembley and not coming back until pre-season and you're meant to reset. I don't think anyone really had reset properly. You, you take it into the next season. You got to try and rebuild. It's not easy. Yeah, hard. Definitely. I can't yeah. remember. I can't remember how we started that season. I don't think we were that bad. We started all right. I think, I think around December, January time, we 
I think I think we were sort of near the playoffs, near. And then next thing we know, we we're looking over our back at um, the people near the bottom, and it was crazy. Yeah. But that was it. Just happened around the January time, I think. Definitely. Actually, it just shows in this league, you go on a bit of a run, like, like, you go on a good run, like, put an unbeaten run together, and you suddenly think like your playoffs or promotion. And everything else. But you go the other way. If you put yeah. seven without a win, you suddenly like, oh my god, like, it changes so much, doesn't it? We just got sucked into it at the wrong time. Yeah. We had enough in the end, but. Um, but then, right, let's move that on. That's enough. That's enough on that year. <laughs> park it. <laughs> there were obviously a few highlights in that year, but we're not going to spend long on that. Let's park that one. Um, Hart Senior Cup. Hey, Hart Senior Cup, mate. Yeah, it was a big highlight. Kane. Goal of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Kane Smith Cup. Um, and, then, and then, obviously, then we managed to regroup again. And obviously, we sort of, Recruitment was decent, and we had a obviously unbelievable team again. I had another idea. You know, it was a, it was a bit of a broken up season towards the end, but I yeah. always compare that playoff run and obviously getting we ended up getting to the playoffs yeah. and go out against Harrogate. But how do you always compare the two those two years? Do you think another another big opportunity missed? How do you how do you think about it now? Uh, for me, it was hard because I was obviously. I was out I before. I broke my wrist, didn't I, that season? Yeah. And I was out, and I come back in maybe three or two or three games, and then mm. well, you know it was one game, wasn't it? One game, and then we broke up. So we played Maidenhead. I came back one game, then we broke up because of yeah. COVID. COVID yeah. So I literally played one game in like three, four months, mm. and then we went into the playoffs, and that was. For me, it was hard. I wasn't, I wasn't right. At, like I wasn't fully match fit. I don't think in that playoff run. Yeah, hard to be. Obviously, it made everything just a bit of a lot. Like it was weird, wasn't it? Like you can't, you can't really prepare for what you have to go away, have a long period away, and then come back and try to do like another um, season. But still, with our squad, I fancied us. What do you think, Woody? What do you reckon about like, the the year? Obviously, the first playoff year and the second playoff year. If you look at the squad, like arguably last year, we're stronger, and you could argue had you know just like a better team. But obviously, it, with with yeah, what's happening, I feel like as the years gone on, we have got a stronger squad, and we've got players that can play in different positions than that as well. So, like looking at this year, we look strong in every position. Mm. And that as well as our first year, we had a small squad and that can only few can only play certain positions, but we had that togetherness. We wanted to win, worked hard for each other, and that and I think we're getting that more as this season is going on as well. Yeah. And that we just need to carry on with it, just believe and that we can trust each other. And then yeah. hopefully we'll end up getting there as well. Yeah, Andrew, that's what I was going to go on to. So this, obviously, go on to, to this year. So we, we had, we've had four, or this is our fourth season together. The previous three seasons, we've had the playoffs twice. What do you think we have to do to go that that one better this year? Obviously, like you touched on, Woody, we've got an unbelievable squad. For me, the best the best squad we've had because Ooh. for the first time, probably, well, definitely since I've been there, first time that you look at the team, the people not that's playing and the people that are the start easily. So... Best squad we've had, but what do you what do you think we need to do to go that one step further? Oh, I don't know. I, it's, it's been a bit of a weird season. Like we started well and uh, not conceded many goals. Um, it's, it's hard to put my finger on it. Like this season, really, because we are playing well, and that I think we need to probably definitely score more goals mm. and that. Stop conceding silly goals as well, but we've got the squad to do it, and that we're more than capable. We've got experienced players, we've got young players to do the running, and that as well. So we have got a good mixture in our squads. It just needs to sort of all come together now, I think, and then we're going to do some damage. Third time lucky, mate. That's the plan. It needs to be in it. Obviously, we've been there twice in the playoffs, both different for different reasons. But yeah, I think you look at the. 
the squad and stuff. Obviously, we're we're in a round. We're sort of flirting with the playoffs, but still, what half nearly half the season left to go. Yeah. Ben, Kiers, what do you what do you boys reckon? I think you, this season is more like the first season. I think the first season we flirted with the playoffs for a long time, mm-hmm. and then we had a really good run like yeah. after mm-hmm. Christmas, didn't we? And we like we stayed in there. Yeah. I think this season's more like that season. Yeah, obviously being on a bench, you see it from a different perspective. So it's been interesting, but it's like you say, it's one of the best. It's definitely the best team I've been involved in, I think, um, individually and as a team, like how the boys are with each other. There's no, there's no fractions. Like, everyone just wants to work hard. Like, it's a really professional team, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and I just think it, it would be it would be such a shame if we didn't go on to do anything with this current team that we've got. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. I agree with that. We've had we've had two seasons now, two and two out of the last three that it's been like an opportunity miss. So it just makes you even more hungry to just get over mm. the line, doesn't it? And obviously, like you said, kids, you just need yeah one proper run where it all clicks and we've had one in the season we've had a few you know where we've gone six, seven games or whatever five wins on the bounce and you just feel like it's if you, all it's going to take is another long run like that to just get consistency and then you're then you're going to be laughing but obviously easier said than done I think but I think that's what this league is though like if any team in this league goes on a consistent run of seven eight nine wins they're going to be top contenders because the consistency is what is lacking in this league. Not the quality. There's loads of quality everywhere, but consistently performing at that level is why we're here, really. 100%, mate, yeah. So I think if we can get that consistency, we'll be flying. Uh, Hopefully. Hopefully, lads. Hopefully we look back on this in about four or five months and go, yeah, see, we called it then. Yeah. We called it. (laughs) We were flying. No, we listen. We we got a long way to go, obviously. And there'll be so there's what there's probably 14, 15 teams that'll all tell you, yeah, playoffs. We we playoffs this, playoffs that. So it's about putting your putting your money where your mouth is in it and trying to trying to get in there and complete yeah. the job. But it would be unbelievable to do it. Obviously, there's obviously been what there's probably seven, eight of us that have been together a long time now, and the ones that have come in have bedded in straight away. Mm-hmm. So it feels like that, like everyone's on the same singing off the same hymn sheet. So hopefully we get get over the line, but um. Boys, listen, we'll we'll wrap it up there. But before you go, we always do a um, we finish with a nice little challenge. I haven't told many of you won't you, none of you have done this before, so I'll explain it to you real quick. It's only a couple of minutes, but it's like a quick thinking challenge. Okay, so I'll pick a topic. Um, done it. Say, so it could be anything. It could be like um, last week we did sports brands, so Puma, Nike, Adidas, blah blah. blah. So whatever the yeah. topic is. Whoever starts it off, so if it's Kier, so on my screen, it's Kier's, Woody, then Dens. So Kier's would start off and just say one sports brand, then obviously Woody, then Dens. And you can't pause for longer than five seconds. And you obviously can't repeat what's already been said. Otherwise, you're out. Yeah. Okay, so it's a quick thinking one. So last week was sports brands. This week, we're going to pick car makes. Oh, jeez. Right. <laughs> car makes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. right. So we'll start off, and if you're out, then it will go to a head-to-head between the next two, and it will just keep going until until you choke or five seconds or whatever, or you repeat one. Okay, so it right. start with Kiers, then go Woody, then go Dens, then back to Kiers. All right. All right. Kiers, when you're ready, start us off. BMW. Mercedes. Audi. Ford. Volkswagen. Toyota. Citroen. Doda. <laughs> Saab. Ferrari. Land Rover. Lamborghini. Oh, my God. Mazda. Ferrari. Oh. Volvo. No. Oh. <laughs> right. Woody's out. Woody's out. Dens, it lands on you. You carry on, and then it goes back to Kia's until you're both done. Off you go. Kia. Mitsubishi. Jeep. Oh, none. Five seconds. That's five. That's five. Yeah. That's five. 
Jeep, go on. Kids, I thought, mate, I thought you were, I thought you had a book of car makes in front of you. No, I, I do know a lot, but <laughs> the one that I thought of had already been said and then my mind just went blank. That is unreal, to be fair. Who boys, said Ferrari? I said Ferrari. Yeah, uh-huh. kids said it early on. That was decent, to be fair, boys. It got a lot further than the others. We did um, cabs, cabs junior and time. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that was boring. We They're did, not good free, are they? No, we did, um, we did National League football clubs and like they were struggling. <laughs> oh, because they've all played at their top, is that all? Yeah, Junior was like, oh, oh, Junior said Eastley about four times. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, that was quality. Appreciate it, boys. Appreciate your time. Um, we'll obviously nice one. again soon. And uh, yeah, boys, been a pleasure. Pleasure. Nice. Pleasure. Lads, yeah. see you soon. Take it easy, Take care. Thanks for watching Champs Corner. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow our BW Pace Academy and First Team Instagram page.